Hey guys, this is Kid Guru here for Megabyte TV and the Tech World channel. If you guys aren't watching this on the Megabyte TV channel, you should head over there at youtube.com slash megabyte TV. Okay guys, so today I want to talk about software um, by Realtime Soft. It's called Ultramon, and this is the homepage for Ultramon. Um, if you're serious and if you use uh, maybe one or dual, you know, uh, if you use dual monitors, I should say, and you really want to take up on, you know, productivity. I mean, already having two monitors, it gives you so much more space to have applications and stuff like that. But if you want to even increase in productivity more, Ultramon is a software to do it. Now, I'm going to start off by saying, yes, it does cost money. It costs $39.95 for one license. Uh, they have a lot of solutions. You can pay over PayPal, stuff like that. You can try out the beta release for free, I believe. I'm not sure how long, if it's a trial. But uh, the full version does cost $39.95. In my opinion, it's highly worth it if you use dual monitors, you know, two or three or even more. I mean, Ultramon is a really, really great software. So let me explain what it does. Um, it's efficiently moves Windows and maximizes across the desktop, manages more applications with a smart taskbar, which is one of my favorite features. And it just has multi-monitor support for desktop wallpapers and screensavers, so if you ever want to integrate that. So um, I'm going to drag this window down real quick and show you in the taskbar right here, I have Ultramon running. And if you double-click that... Um, it will actually open it up, the options, and that opened up my other monitor, so I'm just going to pull it up here. Okay, so, it has all these uh, options here to mess around with. So, the first general tab deals with Windows management, and if monitors, like, if you have two monitors, are, like, totally different resolutions, but for my monitors, they're both the same exact model, so, um, but if you do have a different one, it says resize mode. You can rather have the windows be proportional or to fit the other resolution. If, let's say, you have a 1280 by 720 and a 680 by 1050, it's going to be a huge difference when you drag it over. And you can change that however you want it to be proportional or to fit the other monitor. Um, you can mess around these options. And what's really cool is you can save the uh, preserved positions of your desktop icon. So I have all my icons right here. And let's say, you know, somehow it gets messed up or something happens to my desktop. I can save it right now. And if I hit save now, and it would save it, and then later on I can hit restore now, and it would, you know, restore from where my icons are all at. And you can have the language, obviously, mine's on English. Had the smart, smart taskbar, one of the cool features. I use this, um, it multiple, uh, manages multiple applications efficiently with a taskbar on each monitor. So, traditionally, you have your Windows taskbar right here. And if I was to drag over here into my other monitor, you see that it has a taskbar extending. And it's really cool because it has theme support, so, like, if you're using a custom theme on Windows, it will, uh, you know, extend the taskbar uh, you have across. And what's really cool as well is if I was to drag Firefox over to my other monitor and drag this over and hit minimize, it would actually minimize it to the secondary monitor's taskbar. So I'm going to go back over here and drag Firefox back to the actual main monitor I use. Okay, so I'm go back to the options. Let's go back here. Uh, you can set the process priority low, below normal, and normal. You can mess around with that. You can have it standard so each taskbar only shows tasks from the monitor it's on, or you can mirror it so each, each taskbar shows all tasks. So everything that would be running on one monitor would show on the other taskbar as well if you wanted to mirror that. You have Windows Title Bar. Now you can add these little buttons right here, this little arrow button. If I was to click it, it extends the whole window across both uh, monitors. And I'm like, see there, you can't see it all, but it extends across both monitors. And yeah, so sorry, I had to fix the width. So actually, yeah, so actually, after you click that, it's gonna maximize it across both monitors. And you have it's really, really cool if you you know if really, really uh, awesome for productivity. If you want something, you know, if one monitor, uh, if it's maximized on one monitor doesn't look good enough, then you can stretch it across both monitors. You can also add the move window button. So if I was to click this and hit OK, all my windows are gonna come with this little here. Which, if I was to click it, it would move it to the other monitor. So I clicked it, and it simply just jumps to the other monitor. And I'm just going to click it again. I'm just going to jump back, but I'm just going to move it. Okay, so if you don't, I don't, I usually don't use that uh, button. And what's really cool about the options, you can single out software that you don't want to, uh, like certain programs that you don't want to uh, have that button. So I'm going to show you how you do that here. Okay, so if you just go back into the Windows title, um, let's say you want all, so everything, all your software is going to have this add Windows button, but you can add exceptions for custom uh, applications if they have problems, you know, with that. So if I was to hit add, I can say, like, I don't want Firefox to have the move Windows button just because, you know, I just don't like it up there in the corner. I mean, you can add stuff like, uh, you don't want uh, Photoshop, you don't want Thunderbird to have that access, so the buttons won't show up on those following applications. 
Windows menu has move Windows commands, maximize commands, and you can do menu extensions for following applications right here, stuff like that. Um, hotkeys is one of my favorite features. It has a lot of stuff that you can do with the hotkeys. I haven't set up many up. I just uh, earlier set one up for the video. Uh, Control Alt S would enable my screensaver. Um, I can use one to move the next window to the next monitor, run uh, an application or script, so it acts as its own hotkey manager as well. And you can even add hotkeys to like launch uh, Photoshop or something like that. So within Ultramon, it has support for a hotkey application, I guess you can say. Profiles and shortcuts, you can set up multiple uh, profiles, enable shortcut extensions after changing display settings, wait before launching the applications. You can say how many seconds you want that to do. Um, let's see, it's customization. This just adds customization. You can, if you don't want the menu commands to use, you know, save or store, you can enable features within Ultramon. Um, also, you can, you know, change all this stuff to what happens when you double click the actual icon. Mine shows the options. You can have it show the display settings in Windows, launch your screensaver, or disable or enable secondary monitors. And if you have like three monitors and you just, you know, one's, one might be your TV and you just don't want to use that one, you can ignore, have ignored monitors. Just click it and you can ignore the enabled monitors. That way it won't, you know, unused monitors uh, will no longer be visible in the user interface. So just stuff like that as it says right there. And other than that, uh, Ultramon, guys, is a really, really, really great software. And like I said, it's, it has support for desktop wallpapers, has support for, uh, you know, multiple uh, screensavers on uh, different uh, monitors. So, you know. Really, really great software. Again, like I said, they have stuff like video. They have other software you might want to check out. Video Saver, create your own screen saver from your favorite video. So that's really cool. Um, it's made by Real Time Soft, like I said. And the pricing, if you want to check it out, you just go right here on the other site. I'll leave the link in the video description. Uh, two to four licenses. They have different, you know, plannings and large volume pricing if you're buying it for like a company or something. Or you can try and contact uh, about purchasing or license contact sales at realtimesoft.com. Anyways, guys, this is Kid Guru here, just giving a quick overview of Ultramon. Uh, not a quick overview, but a complete overview of Ultramon. And if you're really serious into uh, multi-monitor productivity, check it out at www.realtimesoft.com. Anyways, guys, thanks for listening. Catch you later.